With Google Classroom, you have the option at the end of a school year or semester to archive that classroom. Technically, you can delete them as well, but archiving is going to be far more useful. So let's see how I would do that. What I'm going to do with my classrooms here is I've come to classroom.google.com and I'm looking at, say, an older classroom here, so a previous year's classroom. And I get three little dots up in the corner. So I'm going to click those three dots and you come down to archive. You'll see delete's not even on the list, so I can't do that yet anyway. But I'm going to archive this now. It lets me know here that archiving a class causes it to be archived for all the participants, so you don't have to remove students from the classroom. That can kind of break some permissions and things if you do. Archive classes can't be modified by teachers or students unless they're restored, so nobody's going to mess with the classroom. Once it's sort of locked away and archived, it's just done and it's there and the class will move to your archived classes section. So let's do that now. I'm going to hit archive. It says all the files will remain in Drive because they were always in Drive. So they stay there if you needed any of those submitted assignments and things. But now if I wanted to um, possibly bring that class back, then I'm going to come up to the three dots and I'm going to come down to the bottom. At the bottom of this menu, I see archived classes. So I click that. And from there, I'm seeing all of my previously archived classes. So here's the one I just archived a moment ago. I can click those same three dots again, and this time I have the option to restore it if maybe I archived it by accident or I just need it back for a minute, or I gotta mess around. Um, or of course, I can completely delete it. It's more useful to just leave it here as an archived version because when things are archived, all these previous classes that I've archived, means that I can reuse those posts later. So if I were to jump into, say, a current classroom, and I come over to this little swirly uh, button at the end of my announcements option here, you can see it allows me to reuse a post. So there's that, where Tyndale, yeah, ooh, let me go back, um, 21 classroom that I can see there, and I can go ahead and click on that, even though it's been uh, already archived, and I'd be able to reuse any posts. So that one, it looks like I didn't have anything in there to use, but some of these other ones I will. There we go. So any of these previous announcements in this case, I'd be able to reuse. And when I get back out of here, if I were to go to classwork and start a new assignment, I have the option here to reuse assignments as well. So when I go into that one, I'll go back to this class I had a moment ago. There we go. You can see there are different symbol for these because these are actually assignments that I had in that other classroom that I'd be able to then reuse in any of my current classrooms. So as much as I can come to the bottom, choose archive, get up here and go ahead and delete it. If I do that, I'm not going to have the option to reuse all my posts and things anymore. So very useful to be able to go ahead and reuse those posts from any of those archived classrooms. So go ahead and archive them at the end of the year and you don't have to worry about cleaning out students or deleting rooms or any of that kind of stuff.